So did something go wrong or did something go right? Stephen Rogers was chosen for a program unique in the annals of American warfare. Steve Rogers chose not to elaborate on his lifetime with Peggy at the end of Endgame, but that isn't gonna stop me from speculating about it. Was Peggy's mysterious husband really Steve the whole time? And if so, does that mean he was standing by to watch the Avengers try and save the world? After Thanos was finally defeated in Avengers Endgame, Steve Rogers volunteered to bring the Infinity Stones back to their rightful places on the timeline. But he took a little detour for a few decades. He returned both later and significantly older than his friends expected. We got to see Steve and Peggy finally get that dance they'd planned all the way back in Captain America the First Avenger, and it seemed like these two finally got a happy ending. Except what really happened when Cap went back in time. You know, all the non-dancing related stuff. If you're a fan of the Back to the Future franchise, then you might have been as confused as Ant-Man during the discussions of time travel in Endgame. If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future. We know that goofing up the timeline too much can have major consequences, like alternate doomed universes, which the Ancient One warned Bruce Banner about. But many Marvel fans, including Twitter user at Bork underscore 21, pointed out that Steve didn't necessarily end up on another timeline. In fact, it seems likely that there were simply two Captain Americas throughout history, and most folks in the MCU simply didn't know about it. We've seen our heroes travel back in time and occupy the same location in the time-space continuum many times during Endgame. Cap even learned that his ability to do this all day is really annoying. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. Of course, if you're going to rewatch all the Avengers movies and try to look for an extra Steve Rogers in the background, you're probably not going to find anything. Although, if you do, definitely leave me a comment. But the biggest proof I've seen so far that there were multiple Steves in the same timeline at the same time is Peggy Carter. Or, more accurately, Steve's relationship with her. Basically, we know post-Endgame Steve was in the MCU this whole time, because he was Peggy's mysterious husband. One obvious question here is where has Cap been all this time? His drive to help others is one of his defining characteristics, so could he really sit back and watch Thanos cause the decimation again? Let alone all the horrible historical happenings over the years, and the fact that his best pal Bucky Barnes was running around as a brainwashed Hydra operative. Kinda seems like something Cap would want to get involved with. But Steve knows how time travel works after Endgame, and knows he can't really change the future like Marty McFly does in Back to the Future. Trying to make things better would have ultimately made things worse. And as much as Cap's instincts were probably to step in at certain points in time, it was best for everyone that he remained on the down low. And we know this hero always does what he believes is right. While he hasn't explicitly talked about maintaining the integrity of the space-time continuum, it seems safe to assume he would, because that's what he Because that's what heroes do. Now that we know why post-endgame Cap might have been laying low all this time, let's look at the evidence that shows he was on the same timeline as his fellow Avengers, including freshly unfrozen Steve. This is my choice. These two lovebirds bid each other farewell in Captain America the First Avenger, only to reunite decades later under very different circumstances. Well, I couldn't leave my best girl. Not when she owes me a dance. In The Winter Soldier, a newly unfrozen Steve visits a museum to learn about himself. As part of the exhibit, he watches a video featuring footage of Peggy from the year 1953, in which she reveals that she was married by that point in time. He saved over a thousand men, including the man who would uh, become my husband. We also saw a glimpse of Peggy from 1989 in the movie Ant-Man during Hank Pym's flashback, and it looked as though she was wearing a wedding ring. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. It seems like Peggy was married at some point after the events of Agent Carter ended in 1947, and before the Winter Soldier footage was filmed in 1953. Plus, when Steve and Tony go back to 1970 for more Pym particles in Endgame, we see that Peggy had a photo of Steve on her desk. If she was married to anyone other than Steve, well, that would be pretty awkward. Even after he died, Steve was still changing my life. Steve being Peggy's husband could explain why his identity was kept a secret all this time. Even when Steve visited her in the hospital, she had pictures of her kids, but none of her husband. 
which seems like a pretty strange oversight. Well, unless it was done intentionally, knowing he was going to be visiting that day. Even Endgame co-writer Stephen McFeely said that he and Chris Evans have always operated under the assumption that Steve and Peggy were married all this time. Although McFeely also said that Marvel may disagree and he's unsure if this will officially become canon in the future, it does seem likely, though. Well, do you think Steve was really Peggy's husband the whole time, or did he just mess up the time-space continuum for one last dance with his best gal? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click on that old subscribe button for more new videos from us here at CBR. Thanks a lot for watching, and bye for now.